So how long have you been, uh, I got some idea, but how long have you actually been in the entertainment business? 55 years when I retired. Uh -huh. And then I'm still retired. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, um, I was 11 years old. I played my first job at Lamberton, Minnesota on July 4th, 1929. Well, how about that? Yeah. And Were you uh, living in Wisconsin back then? No, too? no. I, okay. I'm a product... Uh, uh, that sounds like grapefruits, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> Near Wanda, Minnesota, you know. And we learned how to grow up there. We got wide streets, you know. Uh, 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 but uh, I picked up my first musicians in that area. And, of course, my brother uh, is deceased now. But he was a banjo player with uh, the Brookbauer Band at that time. And Elsie was a concertina lady. Mm -hmm. And her brother played trumpet and so forth. And then a guy by the name of uh, Shepard from Sleepy Eye uh, played saxon clarinet, I believe. But anyhow, uh, he coached me. Before the summer was over, I had a seven-piece band. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know the fundamentals of the band, so whenever he wasn't playing with that group, he helped me out. And I had two brothers that played trumpet, and I had... Um, I'm sure a lot of you old-timers knew J.L. Hummerschmidt. He was my sax man, clarinet man, and Joe Thomas. Everybody knew him from Obasa, and they were great guys. I had a nice section band there, mm -hmm. two reed, two brass, and a bass horn, banjo. And uh, Jimmy Thomas, Joe Thomas's son, played drums with me. He was about 16 years old, and so he swung into a modern band later on in years. So he, he stationed out in South Dakota, and then... Uh, I had um, the honor of has, uh, seeing him in lacrosse with his modern band at the Avalon Ballroom some years later, so mm -hmm. he really did good. So what has, whatever has happened to all these people now, I don't know, but some of them I hear and there I'd hear from them, you know. But, uh, well, you, you were fairly young then to start out uh, with your own band. Well, yes, I was, in, uh, but I, w I, was, uh, I was about uh, 16 years old when I ventured to lacrosse. Why I ventured to lacrosse, I had a... My, my one sister married a, a, a gentleman from La Crosse. Oh, okay. Going back, I could tell a story from way over in Austria where um, my mother and this guy's mother were schoolmates, and they finally found each other. But anyhow, this rascal come and married my sister. And anyhow, I, I went down to visit her, and I, I, they arranged a big house party in that valley there. It was coolies, they call them there. And, so, I had a great time that night. Anyhow, the next day, uh, they all got together in that group there. They said, uh, Sil, uh, would you uh, want to venture downtown La Crosse? There was only one radio station, see? Uh, and uh, I went down there, and, uh, and they talked to the station manager there and so forth. And he said, have you got your instrument long? And, uh, yeah, and you know, concertinas were not known in that area. Mm -hmm. And by golly, I auditioned and I got a breakfast program in the morning. So I what? went down, I left the band, but I had her and started down there with a What, what year group. was that? Uh, 19, about 1934. Okay. Yeah. And so the, where, then I stayed there from there. I organized and, oh, you know, like any band leader, if you lined them up, they'd, the side men, they'd go and reach to the coast. But mm -hmm. I, until I got organized well, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were there many other uh, uh, old-time bands oh, yeah, on the radio? Were, yeah, but no, I, uh, but on the radio, though. Uh, not on radio, okay. no. And uh, uh, then they had a, what they call a, like our, our national barn dance that was from uh, WLS Chicago. Well, they had one in, in La Crosse at that time on Monday nights. And so I picked up a, a group. They were the Steamberg Brothers. Five guys, and they were really tops, you know. Mm -hmm. They had, had, had the bass horn and uh, the slide trombone and the reed and, uh, and trumpet, you know, and I, I got in with those guys, and then uh, we really sounded, uh, I thought, fairly good in those days, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, there wasn't a band in the area with concertina, all accordions, you know, and so I kind of slipped in there. I got, got uh, to cut in on a lot of nice jobs. Mm -hmm. But in the 40s and... Uh, I can, uh, late 30s and the 40s up into the 50s, I, uh, I don't think there's a hamlet between La Crosse and Madison or where I didn't play for mm -hmm. 
any occasion, whatever. I, I had that pretty well sewed up. When did you start running, uh, writing your own songs? Uh, when composing? I did, I, I, I was quite young. I, I never, <laughs> I had to have somebody write it when I copyrighted it because I, I just put it on tape for him. But anyhow, uh, oh, I was young. I can't tell you. I was my. What God, was the first Elsie. song? Elsie's Waltz. Yeah. Okay. So I should have known that. I yeah. Known yeah. That. See. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's the matter with me. Then, uh, I'm slipping tonight. Yeah. Then I, Elsie uh, was a lady concertina first, player that the, the still looked I, up to. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 She, that was the lady that played. With, my brother played with her in that Brook Power band. See? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Her name is Elsie Olson uh -huh. now. But anyhow, you my kind first... of flirted with the women and, and then wrote songs about them, then, oh, huh? Boy. Is that it? it? Was a pleasure. <laughs> 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 uh, then I. Uh, <laughs> I made my first uh, recording. Seventy-eight recording. Oh, that was in the forties. That you know, before these. Yeah, before. That yeah. was the Alpine yeah. Lander. Okay. And uh, that was the first one on the on the disc for me. How many songs do you have? Uh, Two hundred and thirty-five old-time bands have recorded since. <laughs> oh, I don't know how many have. Yeah. Quite a few. Yeah. yeah. How many I, songs did you compose all together? Thirty-one. Yeah. What's your favorite? Echoes in the Hills. Sills Polka. Echoes in the Hills has uh, sold the most copies. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's played on the German airlines uh, uh, on recording or something for entertainment. But, uh, I wish they'd tell me about those things. I just hear it from people that ride. <laughs> they never sent the check yet. <laughs> no, no, no. Just to set the record straight, Okay. we happen to have a list of tunes here. Correct me if I'm wrong. So. Yeah. Okay, these are 28 tunes that Sill has copyrighted. Bobby's Polka, Emil's Polka, Champion Valley Polka, Gold Dust Polka, Country Gentleman Polka, Hobo Polka, Midsummer Polka, Bernie's Polka, Sills Polka, and Rolling Stone Polka. Then we'll go to Schottisches, two of them, Perry Mills and Little Joe. Then Landlers, Swedes Landler, Alpine, Lorries, who happens to be named after his granddaughter standing in the doorway here. The Bayside Landler, Everybody's Landler, All-Star Landler, and This Is My Heart. Waltzes, Echoes in the Hills, Bluebird, Concertina Special, Old Fiddlers, Elsie's, Twilight and Bohemia, Wisconsin Kitzberger, Granny's, and Carol Ann, named after his daughter. And Sill also has a new tune that hasn't been released yet, Metal Lark on the Hillside, which is going to be a winner also. But he's saving that for a special occasion. If I had to play it now, I couldn't. I got it on <laughs> tape at home. I'd have to run it over, <laughs> you know. Uh, if I don't stay at that stuff, I forget it, you know. But then, uh, uh, but next time I get to it, I got something different I put in it. I think it sounds better, and I'll change it, too, you oh, know. that's all right. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, that's, that's, that's the name of the game. Change it till it sounds right. When, uh, how old were you when you composed uh, your first song, uh, Elsie? Oh, I... Oh, the Alpine Lander? Or the Alpine, yeah. Oh, yeah, see, I was, let's see, uh, Carol, you were sitting in the high chair. How old are you now? <laughs> Don't give <laughs> None things of my away. Business. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. So right. that could be 40 okay. years okay. ago, so mm -hmm. I'm... <laughs> I'm going to be 46. You are. Shame on you. I didn't think you we, were We kept old. the mic down on that so they didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, we kept so it way that down. was 40 years ago, so I, uh -huh. I was, uh, I suppose, in my late uh -huh. 30s. Or well, uh, go back. Let's go back a little further, uh, Sil. I mean, uh, did your parents influence you in music? Oh, my, my mother certainly did, yeah. Okay. My mother, yeah. See, my I got a picture at home. My grandfather, that was his livelihood in Austria, uh -huh. uh, was music. He was a music teacher. Uh -huh. And uh, I got a picture of his band in the them days. Of course, they had to walk the jobs, but uh, um, they they played all the weddings in the, in that area. Uh -huh. uh, and of course, uh, you hear some wonderful stories from what uh, my dad says about. Uh, uh, see, my father took lessons from my mother's uh, father. That would be his father-in-law, but. Mm -hmm. He flunked, see? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was a very disappointed fellow, you know. See, and I hear my mother... Just hit the flashing button uh, on the uh, phone. Uh, and rub that. it into him once in a while, you know, but... Um, Glory's uh, they have, They come along right with some of these old stories uh, about uh, uh, the guys going to, to those weddings out there, and anyhow, if you could understand this part of it in German, but anyhow, uh, this one fellow... When he went to the wedding, he walked by a farmer's hog yard, and these hogs were hungry, of course, and, and, and they were squealing. He remembered that when he went, 
So when he went to the wedding, of course, he uh, overindulged. And on the way back, he came by the same hog yard and the pigs were squealing just <laughs> terrible. It was morning, see? And he heard the musicians tune up and he thought uh, that clarinet was too high. He says, feel so ho, feel so ho, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so oh. that, that's about it, though. But I mean, uh, the, the last years, uh, I, uh, I always enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed my radio shows. I had an opening show on Saturday morning and when the station uh, came on the air, and I, I enjoyed that immensely. And I'd, I could uh, kind of rip some of the, the bands that all send me recordings to play. You know, I enjoyed that. But I, I certainly uh, liked uh, a lot of the bands in this area, and I, I never showed favoritism, but I gave them all a shot at it. Good. Yeah. That's real good. You bet. All right. Should we get them back to work again? Why, sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry I take up too no, much no, time No, 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 don't That's apologize. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. <laughs>